Hi, hello, welcome to VHDL Basics. Today we are going to discuss about FPGA Design Flow. The FPGA field of programmable gateway design flow refers to a process of designing and implementing a digital circuit on a FPGA device. Here is the typical uh, FPGA design flow specification defines the requirement and specification of the design. This includes the functionality, performance, power constraint, and any other relevant factors. Design entry create a hardware description of the design using hardware description language such as Verilog or VHDL. This involves writing code to describe the desired behavior of the digital circuit. Simulation verify the functionality of design using simulation tool. Simulation help to catch the design errors and to ensure that design meets the specific requirements. Test benches are used to simulate the design with input stimuli and check the output responses. Synthesis. Convert the RTL description of the design into netlist of logic gates. This process involves mapping the RTL code to specific FPGA resources such as lookup tables, flip-flops and other configurable elements. Optimization. Optimize the synthesized netlist for performance area and power consumption. Optimization technique may include technology mapping, logic restructuring and pipelining. Placement and routing. Place the synthesis logic into a physical FPGA device and route the interconnection between logic elements. The goal is to minimize the signal delay and meet the timing requirements. Timing analysis. Perform timing analysis to ensure that all the timing requirements are met. Timing closure to essential closure is essential to ensure that signal propagates through the design within the required clock cycle. Verification. Verify the post place and route design using simulation or formal verification technique. These steps ensure that design behaves as expected after physical implementation of the FPG device. Bitstream generation. Generate the configuration bitstream file that programs the FPGA with the synthesized design. Bitstream contains the for information required to configure the FPGA's programmable logic resources and interconnects connections. Programming. Program the FPGA device with the generated bitstream using configuration tool provided by the FPGA vendor. These steps loads the synthesis design into the FPGA make and uh, making it operational. Test, uh, testing and debugging. Test the programmable uh, programmed FPGA to verify its functionality and debug any issues that may arise. This may involve running test pattern and exercising different, different part of design and using debug tools provided by the FPGA development environment. Deployment. Deploy the FPGA based system into its target environment whether it's standalone device or part of the larger system. Monitor the system performance and behavior of behavior to ensure it meets the intended requirements. Throughout the FPGA design flow, iterations and refinements may occur as designers iterate on the design, address issue and optimize for performance area and power consumption. Collaboration and communication among the team members are essential to ensure a successful FPJ design project. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you get the overview of FPJ design flow and what are the steps involved in the FPJ design. Please like, share and subscribe this channel for more videos.